What's going on guys? Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another raid Shadow Legends video. So are you hard stuck on Bommel? Well, we have an answer, right? Um, we have a epic champion that is going to require minimal investments, uh, no books, right? Uh, we will require masteries. We aren't going to require crazy gear, right? We don't need resistance. We're not going to need accuracy for it. Um, it's a very simple build, to be quite honest, right? And the speed on it is not too insane. And uh, if you haven't guessed by now, it's Lady Annabelle, right? Um, this champion got introduced in the game, I want to say a couple of months ago. And uh, just stop right there. Just stop. I know what you're thinking. Just please stop, right? Uh, she looks cool. She looks cool. But we'll, we'll, we'll face this way. Uh, but why do we want Lady Annabelle? Well, it's all about that passive, right? Heals this champion by 50% of their max HP whenever an ally or an enemy dies. Now, up until a couple of months ago when she got introduced, it literally was only Burning Gary that could do this, right? Um, and with her, we can actually solo stage 90 of Bommel. Uh, before, you used to be able to have to do it with Crimson Helm. And I can't tell you guys, I dreaded, dreaded having to do Bommel when he first came out because my account was not that well-developed. Now where I have a lot of these champions, he's pretty easy, right? I use my Nishak, ally attack, bam, over and done with in 30 seconds. But for everybody out there that doesn't have this account, um, there is a solution and it's Lady Annabelle. Now, um, the A1, it's pretty good, right? Attacks one enemy two times, each hit heals this champion by 3% of their max HP. So that can come into play. Uh, you don't need the damage, right? So it's not really gonna help. The A2. Uh, attacks all enemies, has a 75% chance of placing a leech debuff for two turns, also has a 75% chance of placing a 30% decrease uh, speed for two turns on targets with less than 50% turn meter, right? We don't care. We're not going to build accuracy. Is it a good skill set? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, but it's very RNG if they have the, um, you know, turn meter. Uh, does it book down to 100% with a three turn cooldown? Yeah, great. We don't, again, care. Not for this. Uh, and then her a3, right? Uh, swaps the HP with the target ally. If this champion has equal to or higher than the target after the swap, places a revive on death buff on this champion for two turns, on the target ally for two turns, sorry. Uh, if this champion has lower HP than the target, then swaps and places a revive on death on this champion. Basically, who's ever got the lowest HP um, is going to get a revive on death, right? Uh, also places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns, down to a four turn cooldown. Pretty solid epic. But again, does not require any investment for her to do what we need her to now. Uh, let me show you guys the build. All right, so Lady Annabelle, what are we looking for, right? What we want is we need her in a regen and an immortal set, right? Uh, helps us get back 18% of her HP. I did try to see if I can do this with a bolster set or a guardian set instead of a uh, regen set, but unfortunately we can't, right? Um, accessories, we actually don't really care about any of them. Uh, if you have counterattack, it works fine. You can get a couple of extra War Master procs. Might speed up the run a couple of minutes, but not necessary. Uh, refresh, we're not using her A2 or her A3. We actually lock those out, so it doesn't really matter, right? As for the build, you want to try to hit as much HP as possible. I have 90,000. You don't need that. If you got about 70, 60, you should be fine, right? Defense. Um, I've seen some builds out there that have her with about, you know, 17, 1800. Um, I don't like that because it can cause some fails if the boss crits. Granted, she is positive affinity, so it doesn't happen that often, but you can get 3%ed. And if you get 3%ed and you're 20 minutes into the run, and then you got to restart again. So build a little bit of defense. About 3,200 should be fine. Uh, Speed-wise, 230 is what you need. Now, uh, we did take a particular mastery to help us kind of boost that up. Um, 250 would work great as well, too, if you can have it. But if not, it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't care about crit rate, we don't care about resistance, we don't care about crit damage, we don't care about accuracy, right? That is it. We want HP, defense, and uh, speed, anything over 250. So uh, as for books, now I do have my book. Do you need a book? No, right? Absolutely not. She does not need to be booked. If you were to take a blessing, you want Iron Will, right? Iron Will is going to give you some defense along with some damage mitigation, which can help, right? As for masteries, well, what do we do? We want to go all the way down to the offense tree and we want to take War Master, right? Um, as for the support, this is the only thing that you really care for uh, is Spirit Haste, right? That's all that's going to matter. Getting that extra 24 speed, right? Uh, and then you could take Lord of Steel. Now, these other ones are really up to you, but if you're going to use a solo farmer, um, especially with a Regen and Mortal set, they do help, right? Lay on Hands helps, and so does Steadfast, getting you that little bit of extra HP. 
So let's get into the run. All right, so what do we have here? We have Lady Annabelle, we have Cupidus, and we have my Velower. The other two are just food champions. We don't really care, right? Uh, one of the things you do want to take into account, though, when you get for the AI setup is on round three, you want Lady Annabelle to just have her A1. You don't want the A2. You don't want the A3 whatsoever, right? Um, the only reason Cupidus and Velower are here is to help clear the ads. That is it. Um, you know, or else you'd be sitting here for quite some time trying to get them down. Uh, not that you couldn't, but you could. If you took the whirlwind of death um, mastery, that would help you out as well too. But we are not, right? Uh, don't bring HP-based champions or defensive-based champions. You need something that's going to die pretty quickly. Um, you know, don't bring anything too tanky. That's 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 all we're saying. So hopefully uh, these guys will die on this wave or at some point in this wave would be great. I think the Bellower is about to go now. No, nope. almost. All right, um, so over here, it's gonna be pretty simple for us. Um, even if the two guys die, our Annabelle is going to heal and that's it right here, right? Um, you're gonna see here, the bombs go off and it's pretty hunky-dory. We're not falling below um, the HP threshold. Now, the reason why I said, again, you wanna make sure you have enough defense is because he does smack. And when he does smack, if he brings you below that 50% HP, um, you are going to die when those dread bombs come out. You need to be above 51% HP. So I'm going to go ahead and let this play out, and then I will be back at the end of this. difficult boss in doom tower um bomb of the dread horn stage 90 soloed by lady annabelle i mean it's more than her looks i guess right uh but anyways hopefully this guide helped you guys uh if it did leave a comment down below uh that will also enter you into the chronum giveaway if you made it this far uh, i appreciate you guys uh, there will be plenty more guides coming to the channel. If you're looking for anything in particular, make sure, again, leave it on the comments down below or feel free to DM me in Discord. As always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.